I am a roller coaster enthusiast, and I live in the Scandinavian country of Denmark. This means that the parks I go to the most to are Danish, and they're parks I grew up with. And boy, do they have a charm! I have come to know the type of parks Denmark comes up with very well by now, and I therefore know the trends, the stereotypes, and what makes them unique. And in this video, I'm going to go over what you can expect from going on a trip to Danish theme parks, how the places are their pros and cons, and I will finish off talking about the roller coasters that enthusiasts should consider. First of all, Denmark has 9 full level rating theme parks, and all of them have their very own personality. In countries such as the US, you're going to find big theme parks with huge rides, whereas Europe often has smaller parks with smaller rides that also focus a lot on theming and an overall experience. Countries such as Germany is known for having some of the world's greatest theme parks, with amazing rides that also have amazing theming. Denmark is kind of similar, except everything is toned down to a more casual level. Danish theme parks don't really get big rides. Instead of having a bunch of hyper coasters, we have a bunch of smaller rides designed to pack a punch in another way. In fact, we only have a single roller coaster above the height of 100 feet, which is a thrill coaster called Piraten, located in Jersommerland. Most of the roller coasters we have aren't that tall at all, and we have a lot of family coasters too since all Danish theme parks are actually family destinations. But don't be turned off by that. We still have some great thrill coasters, and many of our family coasters are unique and still pack quite the punch. We also have a great variety of other rides, including highly thrilled flat rides and tower rides, as well as wonderful water rides and dark rides. So in general, Denmark's rides aren't the biggest and the baddest, but they're often great rides. In fact, I would say Denmark is one of the top countries for family-friendly attractions, and it's in no way a boring experience. So besides good rides, what else does Denmark Denmark have on offer. One of Denmark's greatest attributes in regards to the theme park experience is atmosphere and charm. Parks in Denmark try to be very hygge-ly, which is a Danish word describing a cozy feeling you can get when in a good mood, surrounded by a special atmosphere and sometimes hanging out with special people. The Danish theme parks all have different atmospheric personalities. The oldest amusement park in the world is Bakken, which has a very classic Danish charm. It's small and free to enter, and it has a bunch of pubs and restaurants with classic Danish cuisine. Tivoli Gardens is also a classic park in the country, which also has a lot of old-time feel, as well as beauty and even world-class rides. Other parks like Bongbongland have very unique atmospheres. Trust me, you're not going to find this anywhere else. A lot of the Danish parks also have their fair share of theming to improve quality and the overall experience. When you visit a park in Denmark though, don't expect theming on par with parks like Fantasianland in Germany. Instead, Denmark uses light theming of good quality, at least most of the time. We don't overflow our rides and streets with theming, we do it in a way that makes you feel satisfied but not overwhelmed, sort of creating a balance, and most often, the theming is pretty good. Another part of the great atmospheres found in Danish parks is the staff. This doesn't apply for all parks, but for some parks like Tivoli Gardens, Bong Bong Land, Fogop Sommerland, and Jur Sommerland all have really nice staff. They're friendly, talkative, and they even tend to goof around and give an experience of 11 out of 10. At Danish parks, you're also going to find a great variety of food. Some parks have normal theme park food that isn't of the greatest quality, but most of the parks here in Denmark actually have amazing food. In fact, it's often on par with high quality restaurants outside of the theme park world. Some parks specialize in Danish cuisine, like Bakken, while other places focus on pretty much anything from anywhere around the world, like Tivoli Gardens. And some of our many parks like Legoland Bielund also have great food options for the entire family. So what's bad about theme parks in Denmark? To sum up, we don't have the biggest, fastest or longest roller coasters, and the stats themselves aren't in our favor. So if you're looking for parks like Cedar Point, Alton Towers, or Fujiku Highland, then Denmark isn't the place for you to visit. However, if you're looking for very nice parks with great food, great staff, nice theming, and wonderful atmospheres, as well as fun rides, including some unique ones like Tornado and Rutschebeinen, then Denmark is a great visit for you. If that is what you're looking for, I would recommend visiting parks like Tivoli Gardens, Bakken, Jur Sommerland, and Fogop Sommerland, which are some of the highest tier parks in the country. We also have some smaller family parks like Sommerland Schilland and Pranigolshaven. 
but they're not worth traveling for, like some of our more famous places. But in general, the best thing about the Danish amusement parks is the overall feel, which isn't matched by any other place. The atmospheres you're going to find in these parks are absolutely incredible. And the best word to describe a good Danish theme park is heartwarming. As a final topic for those of you watching that might be a roller coaster enthusiast, here's a list of the coasters I think you should consider and why. Lune, one of two. Gerslauer launch coasters, the model that is. Good launch, good airtime, and good inversions. Falcon, an SNS wooden coaster with great floater airtime and a great first drop near the back. Okanen, the first Vekoma suspended family coaster 453 model, which packs quite the punch, considering it's a family coaster. Juveden, an incredible intimate family launch coaster with some of the best transitions on any family coaster. Piraten, one of five intimate megalites and with an extra fast lift hill, giving a faster ride with some of the most powerful airtime, often considered the best coaster in the country. Mine Train Ulven, a good family coaster with a good layout, however this is on the list for the insane airtime on the first drop in the back row. Tornado, possibly the most intense spinning coaster on earth and a one-of-a-kind creation from Intamin, packing in a launch lift hill and one of the most intense first drops in the world. Rutschebanen, made by LA Thompson, this is the third oldest coaster in the world and holds up incredibly well and hardly shows age. It's smooth, has great theming and in the very back row, the airtime is insane and makes you stand up several times. Demonen, one of the world's smallest b and thrill coasters, this flawless model isn't impressive regarding itself, but its atmosphere and location makes it a wonderful ride, especially during sunset or in the dark. Mariehun, a completely unique backyard roller coaster with a 100% manual operation system. That's been it for today's video. Let me know if I left anything out you would like to know, and I can guarantee that I will answer your prayers. If you enjoyed, don't forget to destroy the like button, and if you didn't enjoy, dislike on as many accounts as possible. Otherwise, it has been Northern Rides, and I hope you all keep on riding.